Okay, so we've got a problem in our trailer where mold has got inside. Now, this is a Fleetwood trailer. It's got Sombrella 302 on the outside, and the top of the bunk is a rubber, rubber rubberized um, coating on it. But on the inside is a vinyl cloth, and it's a vinyl cloth that's got a mildew on it. So what I'm attempting to do here is remove it. I've been on the internet, couldn't really find any information except for a product called Miracle Mist, which they do not sell up here in Canada. So the equivalent of Miracle Mist here in Canada is a product called Starbright, which you can buy at Canadian Tire for $17. Here's the products, here's the tools that you're gonna need. You're gonna need a mask. This is for painting because there's vapors off it. You're gonna need a pair of goggles to protect your eyes. And you're gonna need a pair of gloves because it's corrosive. Now in the video, you'll see that I wasn't wearing the gloves. There's my hands and I find they're very dry. So if I was to do it again, I would make sure that I put those gloves on. Now over here, after the product is sprayed on, you've gotta clean it. So they recommend on the instructions that the that you, after it's applied, you remove it with fresh water. Well, you'll notice that there's a little bit of soap that I put in here, and that's because it's cool here in Canada. It's about 40 degrees Fahrenheit. So I thought by putting a little bit of soap in there, it would help remove it quicker. Now, I tried using a face cloth, a sponge, and a mop to go about. You'll see in the video where I tried to use the mop. I didn't find that very effective. The cloth was not too bad. The very best was the, the sponge. And I gave it a real good fill of full of water and rubbed the top of the canvas. Okay, this is the bunk end of our pop-up trailer. Ours is a Fleetwood. The vinyl coated fabric on the top end of the bunk has acquired some mold. Okay, this is the other end, bunk end, on the other end of the trailer. And as you can see, we have accumulation of the mold as well on the vinyl coated fabric above. Would like to point out we tried the vinegar and water right there and even tried straight vinegar, but it did not seem to make any difference at all. So I will come back and show you what it looks like after we use this product Starbright. Okay, so we're quite happy with how this turned out. Um, I did one application of Starbright and there was a little bit of mold afterwards. I went back a second time and just uh, touched it up because I think I missed it when I was spraying. A lot of that mold was along the pole there and it's gone. Same thing. The mold was along the support pole. It's gone now. And it's a beautiful, clean canvas. That dark spot you're seeing there is, is a shadow off of this. But it is nice and clean. Okay, um, I'm just gonna put on my respirator. I have goggles. I'm gonna go in there and I'm gonna spray all along the top here. And I have on spray here on the bottom. So, you can do this a number of different ways. You can do it with a washcloth, or you can use a sponge, or you can use a mop. We decided to try it with a mop. So, here we go. The, uh, the mop is not too bad, but I think it's better to go over it with a cloth or
Okay, so what we'll do is we'll let this dry. And then uh, there are a couple of little spots I noticed. There's some mold here, compost land. Some mold here, and a little bit of mold along here. And we'll come back and do, and I'll spray some of the, the mold remover on it, Star Bright. And I'll come back a little later and give that a wash too. Okay, so we're at the other bunk end of the, of the trailer. And uh, we had mold all over this, and as you can see, the mold's all gone. I also found that uh, a lot of the mold, I had to do it twice. The first time, uh, most of the mold came off, and I had to go back a second time because these would have been areas that I had missed when I was spraying. So the little bit of mold that was left at the other end of the bunk in was a result of me not spraying it. So um, I tried a, a mop, I tried a face cloth, and now I'm trying a sponge. And the sponge is uh, a lot more effective because it retains the water in it, and the idea is you want to get off this Starbright mildew residue off it so it doesn't sit on it. So what I'm doing is I'm starting at one end of it and working this way. Go along, and you can see I'm quite prepared to get wet. the end of the video I just want to say a few things that are very important one is I don't work for this this uh, manufacturer star bright all I all I'm doing is endorsing their product the only bad thing I can say about it is the smell is very strong so you want to make sure that when you do the job you take the mattresses out and you have the flaps down so that the air can circulate and I'm just going to point out too it is very corrosive so make sure you wear the proper clothing so that you don't damage anything. This is what I was wearing when I did the job. And as you can see, it got on, on my shirt and it damaged it. I will mention too that the flaps, the screen flaps here, this is um, has waterproofing on it. I believe this is 302 Sombrella. So you wanna make sure you don't get this Starbright product on here or you're gonna to have to waterproof these. Uh, apart from that, uh, I think I pretty well covered everything. Make sure there's good ventilation. And uh, thank you for watching.